Welcome back. So I have a bunch of little mini reviews for you today because I have been trying to use up samples in my collection and I want to tell you what I think and I want to tell you what I'm going to buy in the full size. So I've got skincare, I've got makeup, I've got hair care, and let's jump right in. I only have one hair care sample, so let's do that first. Actually, it's two, but they kind of go together. It's a shampoo and conditioner, and this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. I've probably used these about three times, and then I just gave up because I don't like them. I don't know what it is, but it made my hair very flat and staticky. It just didn't work for me. Sorry, they're gross. They've been in my shower. And I also thought that the fragrance was too strong for my tastes. You guys know I'm like super picky about smelling shit. I basically don't want to smell anything. And so those are not a win for me, which is a win for me because they're really expensive. So yay, I don't have to buy that. I have a cleanser here. This is the Belief Creamy Cleansing Foam Moist. And I got this because I love the Belief true cream moisturizing balm and the last time I purchased it I got it in a little kit that came with this cleanser and also the Belief Hungarian water essence it was the same price as just getting the moisturizer so I wanted to try both of these and the cleanser I like it is creamy and kind of foamy but it's more like the consistency of shaving cream Does that makes sense and it's nice I like it I don't think I'm gonna buy it I mean it's not like amazing but I'll use it up it's nice I think I'll probably give it to Keith as well because I think he would like this one and then the Hungarian water essence I don't know I've used it a bunch and it's just like this clear liquid it sinks in nicely and quickly but I can tell nothing like I can't tell that it actually increases the moisture and I don't know, I'm gonna use it up so maybe by the end I will feel differently, but at this point, I'm not gonna run out and buy either of these products, but I do think the moisturizers are amazing. Another cleanser I have is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And this is what you would use as the first cleanse if you're double cleansing, at least that's how I use it. And I don't think this is that great. It says that it's cool, but really it just smells minty. Like it has a minty smell to it, but it doesn't feel cooling. It's not super great at taking off my eye makeup. And if I'm using an oil cleanser and double cleansing, I wanted to just break all that shit up so it can just come off really easily and go in with my next cleanser. So. I used this a number of times, but I won't purchase it. I have a moisturizer here. This is the Kate Somerville Anti-Aging Deep Tissue Repair Cream with Peptide K8. Holy shit, you guys. This is amazing. This might be the nicest moisturizer I have ever used. Seriously. Like, it is so hydrating, yet not greasy at all. All. and it just makes your skin so smooth and silky and plump this is amazing this is way too expensive for me to buy I mean I have some Kate Somerville products and they're always a splurge but I think this is like 90 bucks or something I just can't do it but if you have the money to spend and you want a nice moisturizer this is beautiful. The next product I have is an eye oil and it's by Sundari. I think that's how you say this. And this is their chamomile eye oil. I've used about half of this and I've used it for weeks now. It really lasts a long time and I love this. It's so nice because I love oils on my skin but I've never found one for my under eyes that didn't irritate my skin. I have very very sensitive skin under my eyes. But this one is beautiful. It has a very light fragrance, like a little bit of a chamomile smell, but it's not strong at all. And it completely sinks in and just leaves the under eye area moisturized and beautiful. I am thinking about buying this in the full size when I run out of my eye cream, although I just saw this morning on Sephora that Kate Somerville came out with a goat milk eye balm thing. So I don't know, I might get that instead, but I will use this up. It is a beautiful, beautiful eye oil. I finally tried a Glam Glow mask. This is the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. I managed to get two uses out of this. So 
sorry, that's really nasty looking. Unless it's one of those masks that you put on and it completely dries and it also has a lot of exfoliating bits in it so you kind of like rinse it off. I use a washcloth to really get it off. And this mask is amazing. I have never tried a Glam Glow mask before, but I've heard all the hype and I'm starting to see that maybe it's real. The only thing I didn't like about this mask is that the bits that are exfoliating in it are big and chunky and some of them feel really sharp and jagged. So I would recommend being extremely gentle when you're trying to rinse it off because I think that can really damage your skin. It makes me super nervous but it did leave my face feeling like tight and lifted and just, you know, that feeling. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So I'm gonna get the little mini one and I think I'm gonna get the hydrating one as well. But if there's another one you think I need, let me know down below because I am jumping on the Glam Glow bandwagon. Primer I've been testing is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and this is a beautiful primer. I'm not a huge primer person, but this primer just feels so nice. It's like the silkiest, most luxurious feeling primer. So I absolutely love it for that. This primer is extremely expensive. I mean, it is pricey, so I won't buy it in the full size, but if you have the money to spend and you want something that just makes your skin feel like butter, this is a good one, but I will enjoy finishing it. I'm just too cheap to buy it. The blush I'm wearing today is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Fearless. And I've been using this off and on for a few weeks. And the nice thing about it is that the sample has a lot of product on it. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to get good color payoff. And so this is gonna last a long time. And I really like it. It doesn't have the longevity of uh, the Balm in Stain Blush. That I find more impressive, but it is beautiful. I really like it. My favorite way to apply it is with the Real Techniques Blush Brush. It just is a really nice way to apply this. So I am thinking about getting one of these, but I'm not gonna get this color because if you saw my blush tag, I have like 25 blushes that are this exact color. Not really, probably like 10. But still, I just have way too many things this color. I think I wanna get more of like a peachy blush or I don't know, leave me your color recommendations down below because I definitely wanna pick one up, but I don't want it to be just like boring pink. You know what I mean. And then the final sample I have to show you today is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in 25L. I think that's the color, but it is a gel eyeliner and I really like this. I'm wearing it today a little bit on the waterline and also just smudged out um, on the lash line. And it's a really nice, super creamy, super pigmented, easy to apply, easy to work with. It doesn't set too quickly, so you have time to kind of smudge it out and do what you want. Makeup Forever is pretty expensive. I don't think I'm gonna buy this because I really like the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliners, and these you don't have to sharpen. I find that when I have to sharpen products, I end up wasting so much of it because, I don't know, I'm not very good at sharpening. I don't know, I just feel like it's really wasteful, so I probably won't buy this, but I do like it and I'll use it up and I'll keep buying the It Cosmetics. Ooh, I almost forgot one. That wasn't the last one, I'm just kidding. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and I got a whole set of these and I've been testing the one in Fairly Light Neutral and I really, really like this concealer. It's super pigmented, it's super creamy, and it goes onto the skin really nicely. So when I apply it, it looks beautiful. I mean, it is just absolutely beautiful, super high coverage, a really nice finish to it. But no matter what I set it with, or no matter how I set it, creases like a motherfucker. So no, I cannot get this. It is way too creasy, but if you have like spots that you wanna conceal, I do think it is really, really nice. Okay, I think that's it. Is that it? I don't know, I'm probably forgetting something, but we're gonna wrap it up there because that is enough for one day. Out of all the things I just showed you, the things that I will be purchasing are the Tarte blush, although I'm definitely gonna get a different color, and some Glam Glow masks. And if I had endless money, I would definitely buy this Kate Somerville cream, deep tissue repair, be beautiful. So let me know what you think about this video, if you like seeing a whole bunch of little mini reviews all in one, or other videos you guys wanna request, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember to hop on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Robin's Cup. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and subscribe.
I almost forgot the most important part. Subscribe, don't forget. All right, see you guys soon. Bye. But it did leave my face feeling like tight and lifted and just. The first question is best packaging. And for this, I have to give it to Clinique for their cheek pops. Now, like I usually do, I broke it, but I did manage to